Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's the daycare, man? To be a different different guy, you know? Yeah, you, 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 you don't take care of him. You know what, though, yeah? It isn't, yeah? yeah. I got a rate Timmy's story. He's bought his little one. That's anything for the Dons. Bro, right. he's <laughs> man them that are doing nothing for the Dons, Dons right now. He's doing he's anything, bro. This is Matt Lompel. That means I like football. <laughs> you can, but in a minimal sense. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what are you saying, man? Love it, love it, love it. Well, that's you, though. The cycling lift back. Jay, man, what's going on, man? Give me a squad update. Well, we. we Home Bay's got a game today, so... I, I don't want to hear about Home Bay, I'm just like, Well, I'm telling you, that's why you ain't seeing a, a lot of players today. That's the squad update. You say, we're good, good, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Hey, just to let you know, it wasn't my fault that we missed your goal, innit? It's uh, geek, innit? You good? What are you eating? Huh? What are you eating? Bro, Chris, man. RP7, what are you saying, though, man? No, I wish I couldn't hear you in there. So what's wrong with you? Just... Bro. New adventure, innit, Chris? Obviously, man. family. Missus is working on a Sunday now, so you see me as much as I can. It'll be like once, playing wise, it'll be like once every four weeks. But you're, you're back. RP7 is back. I'm back, but I can't play every week. But RP7 is week, back. But I'm back. I'm back. I'm back in the fold. You're going to see me more, man. Yeah. So I'm loving that. But obviously, new venture in it. So car okay. payment system, Palms Payment Solutions. Jay. I'm going to hit up. Do you know what I'm laughing? Do you need God? No, no, I was laughing. Do you need machine? That, bro, like, bro. I'm coming back and I've heard the quick ain't got a job. What's going on here? <laughs> Kingy's gaffer, JL's not been in the Why has he got a backpack in his back though, for real? Trust me. Man's be like he's not a player now. What's wrong with this? one speech and went viral. Next thing you know, it's gaffer, bro. What's going on? Everyone's like, nah, 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 Kingy's grown up. What do you know, bro? Man's picking the team and I can't forget him. Are you a punter or a player this season? You used to make up your mind for both. Hashtag Dombox, yeah? yeah. This one from Liam UK. You know I mean? Rhino looks like a road man, but he used to wear a mohawk and listen to Slipknot. Wait. That's how poor it is. I don't know, man. What are the future objectives Objectives for SE Dons? I've been here since early and the growth is fantastic. Win trophies. And eventually play in a worldwide tournament and win more trophies. I'm not even thinking about the game. What are you thinking about? Being here, bro, being present. I'm present right now. Hey, what's that? Huh? What did you just give you? World of Wood. World of Wood. October the 22nd. Big Doug's fighting. Ginger's fighting. That's some very good boxers. It's going to be a big night of fights. The first ever Don's boxing event. DFC 1, September the 22nd. Tickets are available now. You can get them from any SE Don's game. We're going to war, Chris. War in the wood. Don't ask me questions. What are you looking at? Just buy a ticket. Boxing. It's horrible. <laughs> Ali, how's the squad looking? Looking good, really. Is anyone injured? Um, couple. I can't talk about it though now. Did you, did you authorise it that they're playing? Obviously. Why? I'm a physio, that's why. Where did you guys come from? Southampton, bro. Southampton. How, how long did it take? Two hours. Yeah. <laughs> Up the dons, bro. Anything. Yeah? Anything. Anything. And there's a Anything. dongle as well. Yeah, dongle. <laughs> <laughs> Can't write this. Been watching you always for like three years, yeah. bro. Three years, yeah. Time. I introduced him. Showed me. You lot to him. And, and then, he did. Yeah. And you're part of the family. Yeah, yeah. yeah. come on. Yeah. Patreon, eh? Oh, Are you Patreon as well? Yeah, bro. What do you think of the Patreon? <laughs> oh, it's worth it. I'm so, yeah. I'm so, I'm so, so up to the that. Patreon. Um, other than that, boys, obviously, as you can see, the pitch is very, it's very small. Um, it's very narrow, yeah. So in terms of us, um, you know, getting with, it's going to be very, very <coughs> difficult. But if we if we move the ball quickly, then we might have we, we can we can create instances. Does that make sense? The way that we've played the conditions in previous games has been outstanding. The trust that you have for each other has been brilliant, and the decision making has been brilliant. So make sure we carry that into today's game. What we've done fantastically well is run for each other. So make sure today we carry it on. We run for each other, and we prepare in the right way for next week because the season starts and that's what we've got our eye on next week. Yeah, yeah. So make sure we start with the standards today and we carry on. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. lead us out, yeah? Three, two, one, done! No, no, Let's go, boy. No f***ing clout today.
So today we're going for a 4-4-2. That's triple F in between the sticks. Right back, we've got Rhino. Two centre backs, we've got JD and Uncle RJ. Left back, we've got Az, aka Zizo. On the wing, we got RP7. Good to see him back. It's been a while. On the other side, we've got SJ. And two in the middle, we've got Lefty and Diggers. Up top, we've got Nathan Palmer. And just behind him, we've got Raw. On the bench today, we've got the return of JJ. We've got Cowboy, J Boogie, and Timmy. Okay, what's happening, people? Welcome back to another episode of SC Don Sunday League Football in what is the last and final game of preseason. Now, those of you that have been watching preseason, you would have thought that the last preseason game we played was the final one. It was supposed to be. But due to the Queen passing, the league game was postponed and it was meant to be rearranged for today's game. However, the team we were supposed to play couldn't fulfill that fixture in today's game, so instead of having two weeks off, we arranged another friendly. Now, today's opponents are called DC Academy. We don't know so much about them, but we do know they have a mixture of some good young players and some good old players. Uh, some of them who we know as well so it will be a tough game anyway this is the final game chance for the boys to finally get their cobwebs out as we move into Brixton to start the league next week so sit back grab your tea or coffee and enjoy so we commence three minutes and 13 seconds in DC Academy driving forward with the number seven he's got number 14 just outside takes a touch cuts it across that's an important hand there from triple F now some of you be familiar with Triple F, you've seen him at the X1s before we got rid of that nonsense, uh, I mean before we got rid of that project, you've also seen him at the fives and you know about his distribution, how about that for a ball though to Zizo, nice little touch inside over to Nathan Palmer, tries to get out of his feet, but the defender blocks it and they manage to get it away. Four minutes 23, number 14 driving forward, tries to skip past RJ, ain't happening, knocks it back to Triple F and it reminds us that he used to play for the X1s, but he recovers well. Five minutes on the clock and this one's a little bit controversial because as you can see the goalkeeper kicks it uh, but their striker's well offside even though it's come off Diggers' head he was still offside when the ball was played however the referee hasn't pulled it back number 14's through on goal cuts it across and that's 1-0 to the academy yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. 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 He's offside Referee, you can face yourself. Fuck out, dude. Three, two, three, two, three, two, three, three. Hey, hey, Donny, he just loves the club, fam. He just loves the club, fam. His heart was in the right place. He just Don't wanted to watch the game. Don't go wide. Don't go wide. Don't go wide. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Don't tell me it's another SK. So one 0 to DC Academy. They started pretty bright to be fair to them and it's a lovely ball here from Ashley Robinson through to the number 7 but RJ stays firm footed and clears the danger. 11.32 on a duck on waffle, ball cleared only as far as lefty takes a touch into Sammy Dutch. He knocks it forward to Diggers who finds Raw, pulls it away, quick feet, it's a free kick for the Dons. RP7 steps up, we've all seen him do it! Oh, I'll tell you, I love it. I was speaking to Zizo before the game, a real club legend. He was telling me how excited he is to be back playing for the Dons and he can't wait for the season to start. So much so that he went and bought himself a pair of new boots. Right, Nathan Vin. Hey, good football, hey, hey, hey. 15 20 on a roller coaster, number 14 steps inside and finds number 7. Sees the big man up top pulling away from JD. Tries to get there first, but he cuts inside and he tests Triple Left's wrists. Hey, let me play the clip. Let me let me play the clip. Hey, let me play the clip. Wait, wait, wait. I was in GDK with Lefty yesterday. Told me he loves the badge. Said he'd rather score an own goal than pull out of a challenge. One now. 20 minutes on the clock, some of you are just here for the tackles. Triple F won't let you down. So definitely beginning to control possession now. A much better response It's going 1-0 down. But we've got to start working there, keep more. RP7 collects it out wide, it comes close. Yo, it's a goal! That's a goal! It's a goal! That's a goal! Chris spots Scotty on the sideline in shorts and t-shirt. 25-20, as collects it out wide and knocks it into lefty. First time he knocks it into the box. Uh, Sammy Dutch makes the make a decision. Managed to get there and head it down towards Raw. Hey. People say that since Rhino cut off his mohawk, he's got better vision because the hair's not in his eyes. He sees the run of Raw, and Raw does the rest. Time! Bang! Finish! 
No, not offside. So, finally back in the game, 1-1, one, one, the boy Roar on the score sheet. I've heard people say that he looks like Wayne Rooney. He can hit it like him too. So you can see just how quickly football can change. A few minutes of majestic behaviour there from Raw. A lovely first goal as he took it down and slotted it, but that finish there was outstanding. Uh, he couldn't have got any wider into the goal anyway. It's number 14 on the break for DC Academy. Cuts in, but he's here wide. I was with Zizo yesterday. He told me he's so excited to be back. So much so that he went and bought himself a pair of new boots. Unlucky, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, come on. I'm here for the family. Nothing else matters to me. It's just a camera, look. <laughs> 36 44 more from the Dons. Lefty just dictate and picks out Zizo. Zizo knocks it into Nathan Palmer. Never going to be afraid to run at your defence. Knocks it over there to Roy, who's already on the hat trick. He finds RP7. He strikes it very well. Good save from the keeper. Well done. Look who they go say hello to first. Zero goals, zero assists, zero minutes. 40 on the clock. Uh, ball falls down to Diggers deep in the hole, spreads it wide. Uh, Nathan Palmer collects it, a lovely touch inside. You know he's got this one in his locker as well. Well done! Well done! Well done. Hey, where, you, where you been, man? That is super. Yeah? Been, man? That is super. Like they up on the goal side. 41 18, it's all Dons at the moment as Raw knocks it out to left. He takes a touch inside. Knocks it back to Raw! Oh my god! You should have seen the goal at the Raw has got a slanger, you know. 42 minutes. It's in three goals and some good football on display. Some of you just here for the tackles. <laughs> 42 minutes in, free kick to DC Academy. Foul given away by Rhino. Nice 2 2. So just like that, DC back in the game, but this is what preseason is for. There's been loads of good passages of play, but obviously a few mistakes and they're back in it. It's a chance to get the cobwebs out, like I said anyway. Zizo into lefty, lefty into Sammy Dutch. What a lovely touch there for Nathan Palmer. That's a big save from the keeper. So the half-time whistle about to go. SC Dons 2, DC Academy 2. Hey, hey. What was your thoughts on half for you? Um, I think one up, innit? Yeah, what know. was your thoughts on half? Uh, Interesting. What did you see? <laughs> he always was just slapping it. Living. <laughs> what was your thoughts on half? Of the very good. Yeah? Very good. We're looking good. We're good yeah, yeah. yeah. What are you saying? Come good. to collect that rent. Baby thing, thing. Yeah, come baby to collect thing. them points. Yeah, no, obviously, the man, a minute. Yeah? Let's see what's going on. Yeah. You say, what are you saying, dog? Was that a player? Yo, I'm hearing from... there's going to be a war at the woods. Yeah, there's a war at the woods. Man, setting fire to the whole damn forest, man. Yeah, that, that, man. The whole forest. The whole forest getting lit up in smoke. Is it? Destruction and pain. That's what we got out here. Oh, Nothing so really but destruction and pain. Yeah, I need like 10 minutes. Bah! That was the worst line you need to cut that out. Destruction and pain. You know what I'm Cut that one out, Yes, please, please, please. What's that you got there? Any chocolate? You might come with a new game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come with a new game. Yeah. 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 Yes, boys. Yes, boys. The only way, really, that we that we found success is through getting the ball out wide. Yeah. So that is something that is imperative. We can't force anything through here. It's the this, the pitch is small. You get know what I'm saying? So this area is always is congested. So it's just out here. And it, and to, and what it is, boys, is once it goes wide, it doesn't mean that's us done. Once it goes here now, now can we get it to the other side? Do you get what I'm saying? If we can't break here, we need to have the patience to say, okay, cool, Az has got it. Az, relax, turn. Lefty, Nad, Ryan Palmer. We're actually problem solving on the pitch. So when we're looking at their nine, dropping and picking it up in pockets, since it happened a second time, it hasn't happened again, because we're problem solving. When we're talking about them passing out the back, playing it to their right centre half, and he's got time to pick passes forward, now Az has pushed up higher, we're problem solving, because we're communicating. 
So all the frustrations, forget the frustrations, keep communicating with each other because you help each other through the game. When we look at the two goals that we've conceded, one's an offside and the second one's a free kick, a free kick that we shouldn't have given away. So those are individual mistakes from us. But we're not giving them chances and chances and chances because we're problem solving. Three, two, one, go! Yes! Cover your head, pop. You heard right. We've officially restocked in DON snapbacks. We've got all the colours available. It's also heading towards the winter time. So the snoods are now available as well. Everything from www.sedons.com. You'll never feel the cold again. We're very pleased to announce that the Dons have renewed our partnership with the GDK Dream Team. We told them our vision and our vision was very big. They understood our language. What do you mean you don't eat GDK? Go and bab up. You see the ghosts on the sleeves? That's right. Phantom have renewed their partnership with the Dons as well. They told us their dreams and they said that people laughed at them. We related, so we shook hands and signed some papers. But don't worry, there's still partnership opportunities available with the Dons. If you feel like you can bring something to the table, hit us up in the email and we'll chat there. However, if you don't dream big, we're not interested. So the second half begins, two apiece. Right now I don't have a mohawk anymore, so there's a better vision of when to shoot. Go! Oh! Big G's known Raw for years. We should probably listen when him speak. How do you know Rory that well? That's why I brought him to the club, man. I was trying to sign him when he was obese. Don't forget, I tried to sign you when you was big. I tried to sign you when you was big. Keep working. Big Rory. Big Rory. Has anyone ever seen that goal Rivaldo scored against Man United when he chested it in the air and the overhead scissors kicked it? It wasn't like this. Shot. Oh my goodness! One person I'm so happy to see back this season is Uncle RJ. He makes me believe we can win it all. He brings a sense of calmness to the back four. Oh! Yes. That goal is dead. So 3-2 down, JR's seen enough, too stressful for him. So he takes K runner and Zach Answer with him, because Herm Bear have got a game today as well, and leaves the boy Kingy in charge. You men ain't got no more Sunday games. No, 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 no. JR, he's done. Let's go! Let's go, guys. Yes, SK, yes, champ. Good day, bro. Get the ball! Luckily for Chris, Geek was switched on and it catches Sammy Dutch's first goal in the green jersey. Hey, I dare someone in the comments to blame SK. Go on, I dare, I dare you. Hey, Boogie, you, you match fit. So a double change for the Dons. Off comes RJ and Sammy Dutch. On comes Jay Boogie and Cowboy. Calling a kick for the Dons. You know our P7's going to come with a clean delivery. Jay Boogie's just come on as well. Boogie! A closer angle has me thinking JD's got some explaining to do. I was in Lidl's shopping with Zizo. He said he's so excited to be back playing for the Dons. So much so that he went and bought himself some new boots. After Lidl's we went to JJB Sports. Zizo was so excited about the start of the season. So he showed me the type of boots he bought. Bruh, what the hell? I've done nine months rehab. So more dons, Rhino forward to RP7, takes a little step inside and finds Diggers. Drives forward and he sees Raw, lovely first time touching to Jay Boogie through the legs of the defender, shoots. Good save from the keeper. Diggers told me the dons have got a lot of technical players now, so he doesn't seem to get much highlights. So I left this one in for him. You can say what you want about the dons, but one thing that we are is we're sportsmen. This number 12 for DC Academy is Zizo's friend. He didn't have any boots, so he lent him some. Yeah, Ryan Palmer did. Hey! That's the one! That's the one! That's the one! 66 on Bernard's watch. Digger sprays it out wide to Zizo. The first time into Raw gets there first. Defender takes him out, and the referee points to that round thing in the box. Yes! What's that smell? Keep it shut. No comment. Big save, boy. Big save, boy. So Nathan Palmer steps up and a chance to get his 98th SC Don's career goal. I, I told you man, I warned you about Nick Palmer and his penalties. Yeah. 
Jail, jail, jail's come. Yeah. Left you by yourself. Not left me by myself. Great cousin. My team, innit? World great cousin. My team, innit? World great cousin. So the Don's back into it. 3-3 three, three now. Bit of a weird game today, but that's what preseason is about. Anyway, it's Jay Boogie holding off his players. He's got Diggers right beside him, but he doesn't seem to trust Diggers. So he said he pulls it into lefty first time forward to Nathan Palmer. Gives it back to lefty. It does well there. Looks over to Nathan Palmer. Sees his name in lights. So a double change for the Dons. Diggers and Zizo off. JJ and Timmy on. I guess some of you just here for the tackle. Hey! Oh, Get up! So 72 40, Raw there in the middle, just breaking up the plate. Definitely a contender for man of the match in today's one. Uh, lovely ball over the top as well for Jay Boogie, just offering that pace in behind the fence. He's so dangerous with it. Uh, puts it a little bit too far and whips it in the box. JJ comes over to apply pressure on the defender. But he's done well to be fair and he clears it. Only as far as lefty though, he keeps it, uh, the attack alive. And he's driving forward and knocks it over the top for uh, Nathan Palmer. Gets a nice little flick onto Timmy. He gets his big Irish toe there as he drives into the box, whips it across, cleared out. Timmy keeps it alive again. He sees JJ free. Big Doug was telling us that he went to a wedding last weekend and after that he went to an over 60s party. Said while he was in there one of the old boys stepped on his leather suede shoes. I said what did you do about it? Now I can't lie, 82 minutes in and this has got to be move of the match. Lefty collects it, knocks it through to Nathan Palmer, cute touch into JJ, but JJ ruins it for everyone. What is that you for the first? Oh, seriously? Okay, Monday. What is that you for the first? Big G. Hey, um, you was meant to finish at twelve o'clock, and it's over. We've got the next team waiting to kick off. Right, cool. I'm, I'm. So while the ground's going to tell us that we've overran the game, it's coming towards an end anyway soon. Nathan Palmer's throw on goal, lets it go. It's a big save from the keeper. So with a full-time whistle about to go, it is going to end. SC Dons 5, DC Academy 3, and that does end pre-season. That's three games played and three wins. What we can take from pre-season is that the change room's in good spirits. Everyone's up for it and it's a massive season ahead. And we move on to the first league game of the season, which is Brixton. I want to thank all the Dons family for your support. Remember, you're welcome at any game. Try and come down and support the boys live on the sideline. And let's go for this season. Remember, all different colour Dons caps available now. Don Snood's available now as well. The winter is coming. Also, for those of you that want to watch the full and uncut version of episodes, sign up to our Patreon now. And thank you for everyone that has done so. It very much helps the club moving forward. So last week's Don of the Match comment winner is Matt Hardy123. He said Don of the Match with no first team game. The Dons could have had a rest this weekend and given us no episode. But in true Don style, you give us content because you live this and so do we. My Don of the Match this week is the Dutch Albanian Oz Ten Hag. That's Matt from Ramsgate. That's all from today, people. Hope you enjoyed it. Go and attack the week early from Monday. Everything is possible when you believe. See you next Sunday. That man got clothing in there still. Clothing line in there. That man got a couple clothing lines. Oh, no. was last game of pre-season. Yeah, man. What was your thoughts on it? Got the job done. RP7 back on the pitch. Happy, man. Ready for the season now, though, bro. Pre-season. Pre-season's been long. Brixton next week. It was a very good game played on a quite a bad pitch really I mean the pitch wasn't great but I mean we never complain about whatever pitches we're put on because we're a Sunday league team and the, when you're a Sunday league team you just get the worst of everything next week we look forward to the start of the league and um, it's against Brixton a good team we know they're a good team because we've played them before a few times and they've always given us a tough game so you know we're looking forward to that game and the start of the new league we're, we're taking Sunday League football to a different level and hopefully this new league will do that for us. We, we'll, we'll lead the way again. Keep supporting the Dons. God bless you all. Have a lovely week. Bye bye now. Just in terms of going in next week, everyone's been in teams now where you play pre-season friendlies, then that first league game comes and everything you do in pre-season goes out the window. We need to make sure that come next week for that first game, when someone makes a mistake or someone gives the ball away, because it will fucking happen, that we don't all of a sudden jump off what we've been doing in pre-season. Because in pre-season, it's an excellent. We've been keeping people up and keeping people's heads up. But I don't want that first game to come and there's three points on the line and we fucking crumble and we put people down. Because that stuff 
ends up spreading through the, through the change room. And our change room has been outstanding so far. And we need to make sure that we keep that from now to the end of the season, because this is what will win us games, this change room, and the way that we are with each other. The vibe's been fucking electric. I mean, it's up to us to make sure that we keep that standard high. That's all I wanted to say to you. They're like Donny, we need more music. I'm like, brother, I need more days in a week, but we keeping it moving. I ain't keeping it local, Don's worldwide, we keeping it global. Chat phone ringing again, call like United, we bringing in 10. Easy. I need a life that's fruitful. I need a wife that's truthful. Carpool Henny at too many funerals. 